Once again, my range game is my worst game. And I remember in college, I shanked a couple shots and I said, you know what, I'm done. I'm just gonna put the club in the bag and actually went out and I won that, won that week. So I said to myself, it's not what you wanna do here. It's really just warm up, get the feel of the game, you know, get some good shots in here and there and then just go and play. Never miss the latest videos from the people who help you play better golf. Hit subscribe here. All right, I'm here with Paula. Paula, let's talk about two things. One, what are you working on when, you, when you're when you out here practicing on the range? But then I really want to hear your, uh, you have a nice opinion about what to do while you're on the range. Yes. A lot of people value this too much, for sure. And then however you practice on the range is going to be indicative of the round that you play. You have a different opinion. Can you share that? Yes, of course. So um, firstly, I'm working on something on my swing that I've been struggling for a while. I like to open up my upper body up too quick rather than set them and then be able to turn. I like to just turn straight from the top. So working on getting the transition a little bit better. Okay. And then um, when I'm at the range, I like to just work on, 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 on basically what I'm doing. Yeah. Because um, I feel like when I look, I see so much stuff and you know sometimes my shots get a little bit like all over the place. But, um, and then when I'm done with like my routine on the range, I like to go to the course and then test it out. Yeah. being able to hit my targets and and work on it that way yeah so when you're on the range starting with that first point you're just trying to get a feel for the practice routine that you have or whatever swing form you're trying to change it doesn't matter if you hit a bunch of good ones or bad ones you had a college story that'd be good for people at home to yeah exactly to so um once again my range game is my worst game and i remember in college i shanked a couple of shots and i said you know what i'm done i'm just gonna put the club in the bag and actually went out and i won that won that week so I said to myself, it's not what you want to do here. It's really just warm up, get the feel of the game, you know, get some good shots in here and there, and then just go and play. Yes, and then but people go to the range and you see it in uh, there's yeah. program right now. There are a dozen people over there hitting. Yeah. They're hitting it bad and they're going to go to the first tee with so much nervous anxiety uh, that the round's going to be terrible. And then they're playing with you, which is scary, right? You're very intimidating. <laughs> and uh, Thank you. they can't yeah. even hardly enjoy their round. I so know, I exactly, exactly. Yeah, it shouldn't and be that way. It shouldn't be that way. And plus, like when you work on your swing, it, it's an ongoing thing. It's never going to change. So if you kind of get that in your head, week in, week out, you're going to work on something. So might as well just do that on the range. Doesn't matter what the ball's doing. And then go on the course and hit your shots and focus on your routine and, and stuff that matters that gets you mentally you know, in it. Yeah. Okay. So let's so. see the what you're practicing here. So okay. go up to the top of your swing and yeah, then show so me what, you're, what you feel like you do wrong. So basically, I get to the top of the swing and I have to make sure to drop this while I'm, you know, sort of uh, starting the lower body because I like to just get this out the way yeah. and then I'll just kind of swing a lot left. Is it fair to say the feel would be similar to trying to keep your back to the target exactly. a little bit longer little while bit you longer. pull the shaft down? Yeah, okay. so um, yeah, exactly. I need a drop of it and then I can turn, not straight turn. Mm -hmm. That's a great advice too because we measure all these swings like yeah. we were talking about before we started this. And one thing that amateur golfers do that's a big separator of skill is the angle between your shoulders and your lead arm. Yeah. That doesn't increase enough to start the downswing. Right. Too many people keep that angle uh, too acute on the way down. Yes, and exactly. And then ultimately hit behind the ball well, or struggle or it's with the stuck path or something. Right, yeah. exactly. So whenever and people talk about getting stuck, that's really what they're saying yeah. without using actual words to describe it. It's describe pulling it. the shaft down and moving your arm, it's moving yes. your shoulder retracting that backwards yep. all of that happens on the downswing so and exactly and also if I'm, I'm pretty quick with the top yeah. too so i need to really let that move happen before i can rotate Feels through deliberate. yeah okay we'll hit this one okay and i want to see you do the so this is just the a best wedge. version of this form you're practicing i know we're on the range but i think you can do it <laughs> all right I'll be okay so exactly i just i like to rehearse it i go to the top you know and then i just do my little bump and drop at the same time and then i can that's turn great. through for anyone who hits behind the ball or struggles with their wedges that's a great practice exactly and then i just go i look at it one time nicely done yeah well i like what you're doing that's great okay. advice for everybody at home thanks for joining us thank you so much